Dr. Chris Rockes, a U.S. trained surgeon, rarely sets foot in an operating room these days. Bad news for Georgia Scamby and her failing heart. She is in serious risk for developing a fatal heart attack at this point. If you were in a hospital in America, how soon would you have operated? The same day of the coronary angiogram, within 24 hours. But of course we can't do that here. But one week later, you're still waiting for uh, the right one equipment. One week later, yes. Greece's health care system has always been inefficient, but now health care spending is down by 25 percent. Drugs are in short supply, paychecks have been cut by a third, and the hospital can no longer purchase the equipment it needs, all part of an austerity deal that Greeks have come to hate. The crisis has actually made a tough situation tougher. It never really was uh, at the point where we worked well. But now we have serious shortages of essential materials. The emergency room was overflowing with patients who can no longer afford private doctors. But these are the lucky ones who still have their government-sponsored health insurance. In Greece, if you're unemployed for over a year or if you owe the government money in taxes, even an unpaid parking ticket, you can lose your health care coverage. Hundreds of thousands of Greeks are now forced to come to free clinics like this one for basic medical treatment. The free clinics are often run by charities that usually deal with refugee emergencies. Now they're taking in patients like Anna Sideropoulou, who lost her insurance when her business went bust. I believe that people would die in the streets, she said, if it weren't for clinics like this one. Has it yet become a life, and, a life or death situation? I'm certain that it has. I can't pinpoint at one or two patients in this hospital who were actually harmed by this situation. But, uh, but you believe patients. that patients may have died as a result of the... Yes, maybe not at this hospital, but somewhere in the country, I'm sure that patients may have died as a result of, uh, of this crisis. Clarissa is in Athens tonight, and Clarissa, with the election on Sunday, at one level, it's a contest between those who would throw austerity overboard and those who would keep it. I wonder if you can tell which way the wind is blowing. Well, Scott, there is no polling allowed in the two weeks before the election, but from the people that we've spoken to on the ground, it really seems like it could go either way. Certainly many people here strongly supporting the left-wing coalition headed by Alexis Tsipras, who until two months ago was virtually unknown. They want an end to austerity. They want an end to corruption in the government. But many people here also feel the reverse. They believe that the risk of being asked to leave the Eurozone is simply too great for Greece to take and that they need to stick to that agreed bailout. We'll know more by Monday. Clarissa, thanks very much.